Hello people, I'm Javi Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. Hello! So we're looking at the Komali official trailer. This is Tamil with Jayam Ravi and Kajal Agarwal. And it also says Hip Hop Tamiza. I'm not sure what that means. Hip Hop Tamiza. I guess, I guess the, oh, that's the musician. So it's written and directed by Pradeep Ranganathan. We might get interrupted at any moment, just so y'all know. The police are literally outside looking for a suspect who I believe is Hispanic because they made an announcement in both Spanish and English. Or maybe this is no, just because of Spanish because, neighbors. Yeah. But who knows? what his ethnicity is. That's not the point. There's been helicopters we, we, and everything. We don't discriminate against criminals. <laughs> um, I can't but, leave, basically. Well, yeah, we can't leave. And Ricky Ricky lives above me. He can't, well, he had a hard time coming home. Anyway. Is he home now? I don't know. But anyway, they surrounded our entire block. This is the craziest shit that's ever been here. Uh, Char's like, don't go outside! Because I went out and started recording the popos as they're walking down my alley with the dog. They're looking for someone. I'm like, oh my gosh. For your safety, please go inside your home or business and stay inside until we have completed our search. Straight bullet could hit you, and then what? The police are out there having a giggle. Really? I don't know. Yeah, I look. Yeah, I have the recording. You can watch later. They're anyway, laughing. Well, sort of. They're just looking for some dude. You oh. know? Anyway, it's like, come on, dude. Come on, be cool. Here's Steve. Here we go. Stop. 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 Hopefully, you enjoyed that little stupid story. Uh, we're gonna check this out now. Here we go. <gasps> Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, a lot of, that's a lot of days. Yeah. Oh, he was a oh, kid wow. when he went in, is that why? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Hey. This is me, this is Sanda. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a Oh no! Oh, you see that flip? It was covered yeah. in smoke, but still. <laughs> what the? Oh boy, she's what? Sh whoa, this is good bananas. What is going on? Oh, that's cute. Is he going to freak out? This is <laughs> You know, what's funny about this is I remember being in an acting class years ago uh -huh. with one of my earliest crushes. There was one of the scenes that they were doing in the class was about a, was a kid who was gonna have these futuristic boots that had him upside down for a long, long time and all the blood went to his head so he went into a coma and woke up as an adult. All right, there he goes again, telling a story that nobody wants to hear. But oh, let's all listen, because you're the star, aren't you? Jabby Koei. Go ahead, tell your stupid story that nobody needs to hear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where's the point of this? Oh, there's the point. I think about that story from time to time, and I'm like, whatever happened to that? Like, was that a movie? And then here's this Indian version of it. I mean, I, he, obviously he wasn't in futuristic boots and ho ho hoisted upside down and blood went to his head. It's, I don't know what the circumstances are here. Right. He went into a coma for unsaid reasons. The neat thing about this is that, this is just cool. Cause like, you, you know, you ever wonder like, what if we went back in time with an iPhone? Like, what would that be like? Right. You know, and so you're seeing what that's like for someone who's coming from the past to the future, our present, and just how he's reacting to everything. 
you're getting a sense of just how different the, the, the huge delineation between you know, 20 years ago or whatever it is. Well, yeah, today. it's 16 years, yeah. right? That that happened. And I mean, 16 years is a long time, but it's also not that long. But it is interesting that in 16 years, technology has changed so much. And even India has changed so much, you know, like... Yeah, he was freaking out about the torn jeans. Yeah, oh my God, that was hilarious. I loved that because, you know, for him, he's just this really conservative guy. And you would be if from like 16 years ago in India and then see her jeans, which is basically like showing nearly everything. He's so sweet, just trying to cover up her modesty. That was so hilarious. I mean, even in, in America, right? If you were to look at people's apparel today and transport that back 16 years ago, mm -hmm. if someone was showing the same amount of skin back then that they do now, I think it would be considered, you know, scantily and, and skanky, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, I remember back in the day, and I was living in Thailand at the time, like, little camisole strappy tops were coming into fashion, mm -hmm. and my mother was like, you cannot wear that out. And like, halter tops and stuff, like, you cannot wear that. If you're wearing that out, make sure you put a jacket on. So just because I wanted to be fashionable, I would wear this, like, little camisole or halter top and then I'd have to put a jean jacket or a cardigan on top of it and it's so freaking hot. Yeah. I was sweating, yeah. dying, but I'm like, for fashion! One of the other uh, interesting things about this is that they're sort of playing with this notion of the Tamil superhero leading man kind of thing because he's caught in a situation that you'll see in other Tamil or Telugu action films, right? Where he's supposed to kick ass. Right. And then he gets goofy because he has like a Jackie Chan moment. He's like, oh my God, that hurt. You know, <laughs> whereas, you know, someone like, um, what's his name from 24? I, I've seen him, we watched him in NGK as as well. Yes. Like um, whenever he's fighting, he's always kicking ass and he doesn't ever have that reaction of like, ooh, you know, he's, he's a man's man, you yeah, know, yeah. He's, he's beating people up, you're kicking ass and taking names, but like here he's total opposite. At least that's my interpretation of it. So what's his name from NGK? I can't remember. Surthi, Sur, Sur, Suritha? Suthia. Suritha. No, that's not any of it. Surya. There you go. Is that who you're thinking of? Surya. Right. Yeah. There's no yes. TH in there. I don't no. know why I did that. Anyway. Okay, cool. So he had a crush on this girl? Yeah, so then 16 years passed and she's gone married to this doctor and now because he's come out of his coma and his actual doctor says to his friend or whoever that guy is, like, just let him do whatever, have whatever he wants because poor guy, he's been in a coma for 16 years and so he wants to rekindle the romance with his old girlfriend and she's moved on clearly. She's she's a mother with kids now. Right. And so he's trying to like get her back. But then there's some other pretty lady as well who that's not the same lady. Yeah, one of the other things they're highlighting as well is just the difference in movies and how movies have changed yes. and have become, you know, more risk risque with uh -huh. time. And it's a little bit more open, I think, is more the idea, but it's risque to someone from 16 years ago. I think it was also cool, you know, how you were saying it's talking about the older movies, but it's also kind of talking about the older courtship styles mm -hmm. because, you know, Back in the day, you give a girl a flower or you, you act a certain way and it's like, yeah, that's cool. But now that's not cool. Right. <laughs> you can't get away with that. Right. <laughs> and his clothes too. They're so dated as well. The way the money has to, has changed. It's oh, like yeah. the depreciation of the dollar or the, you know, the rupee or whatever. I was even just talking to my friend the other day. I was talking about buying street food in Thailand, right? And I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I remember when y y we could get a meal for 30 baht. And she's like, yeah, you can't anymore. Yeah. I'm like, really? Street food? 30 baht? She's like, no, at least not where, where I live. I'm like, damn. Yeah. I mean, when I was it's a kid, when I was a kid, gas used to be like a dollar twenty-five. What? And now gas is like four dollars a crap. gallon. And so, you know, when before I was born, when, when my dad was in his, you know, youth, mm -hmm. gas was less than fifty cents. You know, it's so. It's but the just, the money had more value too. So it. Sure. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, inflation is just kind of a funny topic. Isn't I know. It? That's funny. It says it's the the film for nineties. 2K kids yeah. because you know all this stuff it's all the references to the 90s that, that we know and love and that we grew up with and then it's just kind of coming back in the modern modern day I guess yes 
It's and that's interesting even now with fashion and whatnot. It's a great way to make you feel old. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. There he goes again. He's gone off on one. He's telling a story that he thinks is interesting that no one else does. But uh, I'll pretend to be interested. So that'll help everyone else pretend to be interested. Even though no one wants to hear this stupid story. But go ahead, Javi. Tell your story. Nobody cares. But I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, there's the point. I think I missed it.